Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to set up a Google Merchant Center account. You will need this if you want to show your product in the Google universe, either it's organic or paid ad, if you want to run shopping ad campaigns, PMX or any kind of ad campaigns in Google or even YouTube to your e-commerce physical product store. So that being said, let's jump to my computer and let's go through the whole process. So if you want to register a Google Merchant Center account, then first of all, you need to simply just search for it and you will end up on this page and uh, this is where you can uh, get started. First of all you will need a Google account so if you don't have it yet then yes you need to register and once you have it then uh, click start now here and uh, Google will ask you a couple questions so do you sell products online? Yes and uh, here you need to add the link of your store so you can connect not only Shopify but WooCommerce, PrestaShop and and, you know all of the different e-commerce platforms but uh, now we have a Shopify dummy store with our team so that's what I will use in this uh, tutorial video and I will just simply copy paste the link of the store here do you have a physical store if you have then yes if you have a brick and mortar business uh, part as well but uh, now we don't have it okay go to continue uh, show your products across of Google with Merchant Center and here you want to go here uh, they prompt you to go to Shopify to connect uh, connect with the Google Merchant Center basically we also need the name of the company so yes I will uh, fill this out and uh, yeah, I don't need this so continue to Google uh, Merchant Center and voila you are here already in the new Google Merchant Center account so don't freak out if your uh, interface looks a bit different because Google always a b test with different uh, dashboards and all of that so you, yours might look a bit different but uh, it doesn't mean that's not as uh, useful or you know there is any problem okay so now click uh, go to google and youtube app in uh, shopify it will push you to the shopify app store and you want to install the app of uh, google basically so click install okay so go here and install and now you want to connect your uh, google account and and voila it's connected so yeah I connect with the email emails from Google okay we don't want that basically if you don't have a payment method yet then you need to add that and then of course have the online store also you need to add the uh, refund policy and uh, TNC, um, yeah, terms of service you also want to confirm that you've added contact information to your store so yeah I confirmed here you can pick your uh, merchant center and now let's connect that okay so so the next step is simply just a verification that's you okay so this is verified now and uh, product sync settings so you can click here and uh, yeah basically you want to do this automatically okay and here you want to pick your target country so I will pick United States and target language will be English so let's save that and also shipping settings so yeah you want to automatically import shipping information um, you can also manually set up in the merchant center but uh, uh, yeah you just want to automate this in most cases check out link settings location settings conversion tracking so you want to have this turned on you can click here and turn this off but yeah you don't want to do that you just simply want to use conversion tracking so you know when people purchase and and what they buy okay terms and conditions we read all of those so yeah complete setup now okay so now it's connected and uh, when we add products then those will be seen here you can also see if they are approved by uh, Google or pending or not approved yet and as you can see it usually takes even a couple business days to get them approved so that's just something keep in mind okay now I will go back to the merchant center okay so here basically you want all of these checkpoints to, to be checked I already verified the phone number online storm uh, store is confirmed sales tax setup is completed as well I think it's pulled in from Shopify actually add details to show how you ship your product so let's go to the shipping details and this is actually quite important so yes you definitely want to fill this out you want to add and remove countries if you want you can add multiple countries so let's say United States you can add United Kingdom as well but uh, if you want you can remove so yeah I will just uh, keep US as of now okay hit continue and here you can uh, really specify 
apply the nitty gritty. So uh, we will go here and uh, you can specify this for all products or specific products later on, but first you need to do this for all products. And uh, you can uh, specify it by carrier, uh, but also enter specific delivery times manually. I will just hit this now. So basically, yeah, make sure that these are uh, filled out. So let's say minimum one day, maximum three days. And uh, I think the rest is fine. We hit continue. Currency, you can specify shipping rates and uh, it can be made as free shipping as well. So yeah, now I used very easy rules and uh, yeah, that's what I will use here. Okay, the next one will be probably the most important. So you want to add product here. So you can upload products from a file. You can use Google Sheet. You can add them one by one. It's probably a nightmare. I mean, let's uh, pick this one so you will see what I mean. Um, yeah, so basically why you want to really automate this because you can, of course, you need to add a couple things uh, manually or, you know, it, it makes sense. And uh, certain things, they are really important to, to, really, to have them for all products because actually for Google, those are crucial to show your product. So you want to add a strong headline, title, brand name, description. You want to add, of course, images, but also the price is super important. One of the most important things, especially when you run Google shopping campaigns. Uh, there are other things such as this uh, product identifier that you want to take care of. It's not as important as it used to be a couple of years ago, but yeah, it's still crucial. Language, and then you can add labels and those are not mandatory. I mean, you can uh, ignore many of them, uh, but you can also fill out all of them. You can add custom labels if you wish. So custom uh, properties, custom data of your product. But again, why you don't want to do this manually? Because if you use all of these drop down, then you will see there are so many things that you can specify for each product that doing this manually would really require a whole army, right? So yeah, you, don't, you just don't want to do that. So yeah, I will just cancel this now. We don't want to do this manually. We want to automate it somehow. And yes, we just continue to Shopify and uh, we use the integration to set these up. Okay, so now we are pushed here and I showed uh, this to you earlier and uh, you can actually bulk edit products if you want. So here are the products in the whole store and uh, yeah, you will see all the relevant information of your products here. So this is the title, the description and the uh, media. So basically images, you will see the category. And here actually you can decide if you want to show these products on Google and YouTube or not. So yeah, if you don't want to show the T-Rex, then yeah, you can just click this uh, checkbox and check this and we can just simply save it. Uh, here's the price, another super important thing. And uh, yeah, the product identifier number. Um, actually, it's important, but not necessary. And uh, yeah, I will show you how this works in a couple seconds. Um, what is also important is uh, the age group. So you can uh, pick this one. So let's say actually we sell toys now. So yeah, let's uh, click uh, kids for our products. So, okay. And also select gender. So let's say these are all unisex products. So I will just click these and we can save. And we will go back to the Google app. So I just click this one. Yeah, none of the products are accepted yet by Google. But as I said, it will take time. And if I go back, you will see that uh, now products are being added and uh, this will take a couple minutes. So yeah, first Google needs to upload these. Okay, so now we can see that uh, Google pulled in the products from Shopify and uh, none of them are approved and one is just under review. So this is quite common. You don't have to freak out. Basically, if you go here, you will see all the information why it's happening. So missing shipping in some countries uh, for two products, actually unsupported shopping content vehicles. So yeah, I think one of them is in that category. Uh, missing value image link for one product. So there is a missing image. Basically, these are the issues and why they are, um, they are problematic for Google. So obviously you want to go ahead and follow the instructions here and fix these issues. Now what I will just do is uh, removing this product from, uh, from Google.
Google. So I will go here, book edit products, and uh, I will just keep the nice Brontosaurus toy. And uh, I think my T-Rex is also a good choice. So yeah, I will just save these. Okay, so now I'm having only two products that I enabled to be shown in the Google Merchant Center. And uh, they are just under review, but we go to needs attention that we already, we can already see a couple issues. So again, you just want to go ahead and fix those. Um, so yeah, you can see that the texting is all right. Fix those things that Google shows you and then everything will be all right. So now if I go to the overview, yes, all of these are checked, so we are good. I can go to products and uh, check those and uh, these two products, they are showing in uh, Google now. There is one more thing that I want to show you before I forget. So actually here, Google product category, you need to pick this as well. And uh, as a huge help, what I will share with you is simply search for Google product uh, category and uh, let's see. So yeah, there is a uh, Google help file and basically here there will be a uh, TXT or you can use an Excel. But I just like the TXT and here you can see all the possible uh, product categories that you can use in Google. So you want to be specific regarding this. So we want to have uh, toys. So probably that will be here or yeah more like here so yeah we want to click uh, toys and games and you want to find the right uh, subcategory so uh, okay let's say I go to toys and yeah this is a toy and uh, and let's say this is a toy figure and obviously not a doll but uh, I don't know let's call it action figure just because of Jura Spark so I will click uh, save let's do the we can do the the same for the other product and uh, just simply save. So I will share this file with you and you can uh, use it, specify the categories of your product. But uh, yeah, this is also important, having the right uh, product category for uh, Google. Also, maybe one more thing that you can do. So anytime when you want to turn off uh, your Google uh, sales channel, then click settings and uh, go to uh, apps and uh, sales channels, click this this one and uh, find Google here and basically you can really just turn this off if you want uh, you can even uninstall it and you can uh, open it up you can also disconnect your store so yeah you can do many things um, okay so now we are good these are under review they will be uh, ready in a couple days the next thing I want to show you is uh, simply just Google Ads so it will show you that uh, so once your products are uh, there and they are uh, approved by Google it will show you that you can set up Google Ads but you don't want to do this uh, through a Google Merchant Center you want to go to Google Ads uh, manager and you want to get started with Google Ads there just simply keep in mind because uh, again the functionalities are uh, much better if uh, you use the Google Ad manager so yeah don't use Google Merchant Center for uh, running ads also, once uh, this is ready, then uh, it will show you a big blue button then, uh, that offers you to connect the Google Ad account. So what you have to do is simply just go here and copy paste the Google Ad uh, account identifier, this uh, ID basically, and you need to uh, click the blue button that will be here and copy paste that number and simply integrate it. So super simple. All right, so now this Google Merchant Center is set up for one day and uh, I just want to give you an overview how it looks like so yeah uh, here's the overview the dashboard you can see your uh, product uh, status in the last seven days and uh, 28 days this is still a really new account but as you can see now the three products are approved so that's great and uh, if you go to product performance you will see all the performance data the summary of uh, these products so the ads are not, ru not running yet I paused it and that's why we cannot see too much data here but yeah you will see the number of clicks on Google uh, led to your website and uh, 
Here you can see the timeline, the different products, and uh, also you can see other things about your competitors and the whole market in your specific niche. So uh, you can see action figures, uh, toy cars, and uh, trucks. So you can see trends over all time. You can even go to view all searches, and uh, yeah, you will get more information over time. Moving forward, here you can find notifications. So how you can uh, make things better in general. Uh, Google always give you some instructions here. Here you will see your uh, products. I won't talk about this now and shipping. Uh, business info, you can change it if you want. Uh, free listings. So yeah, now we can see that the products they are on the free listings across uh, YouTube. Here you can see the ad campaigns, but again, I would advise using the Google Ad uh, dashboard, Google Ads dashboard instead of your merchant center for this purpose. And uh, probably this one is the most interesting. So products, you can see your traffic over time uh, from free listing, so organic, and uh, from ads as well. You will see your uh, products here, the popular ones, the trending up ones, trending down ones, and also the brands that you can sell and uh, the categories. So you will get all of this data by Google uh, and the timeline, how this uh, has changed over time. You will also see a um, summary of uh, your impressions, clicks, CTR, all of that, uh, competitive visibility. So you will see uh, businesses with the highest visibility on Google. Obviously, the major players will be, you know, in the top five. So um, yeah, good luck to get there. Businesses with similar visibility on Google. So here you will see those businesses, businesses which are comparable to you. So your main competitors actually will uh, show up here popular products, so um, top selling products on Google, baby activity ordering, wow, <laughs> sorry. Um, here you will see the most popular products across the whole Google universe uh, in your, in your uh, category, but also your popular brands on Google. So you can compare these numbers and also brands that are gaining popularity in your niche. So Toyventive, they do something very well because uh, They've been trending up, as you can see. So yeah, you can check how they do things. If you go to pricing, then uh, yeah, you will get more insights from Google after a while, but yeah, you need some data for that. And then uh, promotions, so ads again, and shipping experience scorecard. So over time, you will get feedback from Google because actually they are big on this uh, customer experience scorecard thing, and uh, they give you an overall feedback what customers they think about your uh, service. So these are the most important parts of the Google Merchant Center. Hope you enjoyed and even more importantly, you learned a lot from this video. Here at Budai Media, our goal is to help at least 1000 e-commerce businesses grow with high quality marketing because we can see too much shit out there. If you like this video, make sure that you go down, you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so you get updated of my weekly videos. We collected the top 100 email templates from the past six years and these generated tens of thousands of dollars for our clients. So go down and click the link and get this uh, 100 templates for free. And finally, I will drop you one more video here. Make sure that you check it out as well.